insurance bill you could do a lot of stuff with this payment platform so check out the pinned comment as well as my description box for the link to use vt Pass. this one has been drama free and that tells me that they have good people the court the court fountaineers they are good people and good people because apart from um mama even in recent times when um prophet tb joshua went to be with the lord we all saw the drama that happened like if, if you are not even a church person we all experienced that drama so for for the board of trustees to say that um after prayers and all of that uh, they were going to hand over to their children now they argue and say they is um, church family business. To be honest, I don't know. I don't have an answer to that question. But what I would usually say is that, you see, this is the, the really no manuals, okay? Because as opposed to, I'm not holding brief for anybody. I, like I told you before, this is not a news channel. I am just sharing my thoughts, okay? Just imagine in the parlor, where you just if i grew up like that we used to talk about things my parents sit down and just and it wasn't from a caustic point of view so that's that's what i'm doing here okay so when you build your something whether it's church whether it's a business um whatever it is how you want it done my sister my brother they don't okay <laughs> but the Bible also tells us that a good man will leave an inheritance for his children's children. So if their parents labored for that faith-based institution that they've created and they have capable children, I personally don't see anything, um, a big deal in it. Um, Four Square Gospel Church, Amy, Ma Amy Semple McPherson, I think is also the same pattern. It was handed over to her son, and her daughter. So I think I've read it. Or I've seen an interview a long time ago because I said, "Oh, this, this, let this bring. Let me deviate from that." Brings me to my second point of, um, I have not seen a pattern like this where um, a brother and sister do will be handed. So I, 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 it will call to me that oh, first square. That's what will happen. Not the first square of now. First square of like maybe, you know, almost fifty or 60, 70 years ago, like. Amy Semple McPherson died, her son and his sister they took over and from there it has um succession has gone through different hands and the ministry is still is still standing. So because at some point I was like, I don't see Jimmy's wife, I don't see Tolu's husband. Um, why is that so? Um, even during the burial, I was looking out. I, I saw their their younger sister's um, husband sitting at the front. So I was like, where's Jimmy's wife? I know that there was an interview she did many years ago. And I think that's what's playing out now where she was, when she was getting married, she said that um, before she got married, Jimmy Odukoya told her that, oh, there are certain um, rules and regulations you have to follow um, because of the type of family I come from and all of that. Um, so, and I think she's also a quiet person. Um, I was also like, oh, where's um, Tunlope's husband? Because I couldn't, I didn't see them. Okay, people we ask those type of questions, right? So, so this is what I think may be playing out. Because of the succession plan that is in place, um, Jimmy and Tolu are going to be like the face of the ministry. So there are spouses who may not necessarily be ministry people. And I think it's fine because a lot of times it's almost like people who are into ministry sometimes put pressure on their spouses who don't want to really be involved in the ministry. And it can cause rancor, it can cause bitterness, even though there are some people who feel like that. Ah, why would you not be um, supportive of your spouse? But people can support their spouses without being in front. You understand that type of a thing. And I respect that for them. I think that um, when you have um, spouses who allow you, who give you the room and freedom to do what you want to do without necessarily 
um, thinking that it's a competition of some sort. It's a blessing. Anyway, share with me your thoughts, okay? Um, maybe um, you, you may not agree with me. That's fine. But I would like to hear what you you guys um, think, um, because it's almost and you know it's almost like um, Tolu is going to be like the momiji of the church, and um, Jimmy is head of the church and all of that. And, and Tolu, you know, do you guys know that um, Pastor Tolu has a strong women's ministry? I remember when um, she started something on Instagram many years ago, and I was still very active on Instagram. I don't like that platform. So I remember a lot of people thought that she was um, going to um, go in the line of her mom in terms of relationships, but I think her part was really different. And there's a reason, I don't know what happened, though. She really does have a very powerful women's ministry. Leave Cap, no, not Leave Cap. That lady has a strong women's um, ministry. So yeah, it's, it's all good. Um, finally. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I should do a different video or I'm just going to put everything together. I was asking myself that why is it that this is the same season, um, talking about succession, that um, Bishop Jakes and Sarah Jakes are in Nigeria. And if anybody is sensitive, you can see what Bishop is doing. Bishop is teaching Sarah. He's preparing her why he is alive. That's so powerful because what I was thinking about it, thinking about the change in seasons, yeah, in in body of Christ, it's it's a new whether whether you are seeing it or not, your babas are going, <laughs> your your fathers are going. That's just the truth. And in another ten years, we are going to have new faces. We are going to have new leaders on on the Christian scene. So I was um, like, is God is such a master planner. That's the best word I can use. How come um, this installation of um, Jimmy and um, Tolu, um, Bishop Jakes came from America, even though it doesn't have anything to do with their own church, but I'm just talking about changing seasons. And um, he came with Sarah Jakes and, um, you know, it's, I, I don't know if it was Bishop Walokin that was talking about the fact that um, succession should, you should start preparing your successor in your lifetime. It's not that when the person is now dead, where you can't give feedback, you understand, because we've also seen things like that, where um, founders or strong people go on to be with the Lord, and the people who take over from them cannot efficiently function because they do not have that sounding board of the leader while the leader was alive. So I think that, I, I and a lot of people did not realize that Pastor Jimmy had actually been pastor. And I was surprised. I was like, ah, I, you know, there are a lot of things that I feel like a lot of people know, then I'm surprised that ah, people don't know this gist. Because as far back as when I was even in law school, I remember this is over, over 10 years ago. This year, it's going to be 10 years at the bar. Um, Jimmy was pastoring Church 316 or something like that. It was a young people. Because when, when, I, when I came to Lagos, I had different, you, my tribe type of churches that I wanted to go to. But the Holy Spirit directed me to one small or known church like that. <laughs> because I had already planned the list of churches that ah, I'm coming from beneath. They will shall know that somebody has come to Lagos and uh, like, oh yeah, yeah. But this be sent me to our back church because I knew my mind. <laughs> I was going to look for us, but <laughs> that's by the way, Sha. So he has been pastoring for a long time. That's like why are people surprised. I um, so when someone is alive and they have that um, someone to coach them, which is what Bishop Jakes is doing, and, and I'm learning a lot. I'm like, wow, wow, because these things, success doesn't just fall on people's laps. People plan for things, right? Doesn't just happen. You get me? It doesn't just happen. And there are some other people who have like different philosophies that oh god will take care of his church but to be honest true life goes on when people die life goes on that's why i i am telling myself this this that 
you have to live your life to the fullest. Um, l- let me give you. Yesterday, I was just crying. I was remembering my grandmother, and I was crying and crying, and because I just remembered how such of a powerful figure she was, and she's gone. Life goes on. <laughs> That's is true. Life goes on. So while we are living, we must not. Um, there's no vacuum in in the world, in space, in life. There's really no vacuum. If somebody dies today. Somebody, whether the person is as competent as the person who was left or not, somebody will take over. Now, talk people will just talk. After that, people move on to the next shining thing because life, life truly, it goes on. All right. So that's that. Then finally, I saw a a tweet. Um, where someone was um, making parallels between Jimmy and his mom. In fact, you guys, you know what? We're going to do another video for that. Let me end this video here so it is not too long. So please watch the next video. We're going to be talking about the parallel between Jimmy Odukoya and his mom, the the late Pastor Bimbo Odukoya. So I I just said, let me just give my mind this morning. (laughs) Right? So let me know what you guys think. Just me in the comment section. I want to see this matter and I'm going to talk more again. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Um, If you enjoyed the video, I like you. You are my person. I may mean, be your person. No, I did for you. Please subscribe. We are racing to 20K. All right. So I would really, really love to achieve 20K before the year runs out. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn up the notification bell. So that when I come on here, you are the first to know. And you could also use the super things or um, I'm going to put a link or something that you could just say. Keep up, you could work well done. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in my next one, my diamonds. Bye.